Newborn Blood Spot Screening Wales has produced this short film for sample takers. The film shows the process of testing a newborn blood spot screening sample once it is received in the Wales Newborn Screening Laboratory. The timely collection and receipt of good quality samples in the laboratory is essential to enable the prompt referral of babies for diagnostic tests and treatment. For every newborn blood spot screening sample received in the laboratory, a quality assurance process is followed. Approximately 100 to 200 cards are received daily and currently about 6 to 8 of these will need to be repeated. The demographics and other written information on the card are checked to ensure that each sample has been collected in the correct time frame. The date of birth and date of sample are vital for this. Without a date of sample, it is not known if the sample was taken at the correct time or if there was a delay between sample collection and its arrival at the laboratory. If a sample arrives in the laboratory more than 14 days after being taken, it is unsuitable for analysis and a repeat sample would be needed. Results cannot be validated without a date of birth recorded because it would not be possible to confirm that the sample had been taken at the correct time. The date of birth is also essential if a baby requires referral to a clinician. It is essential that the baby's NHS number is recorded accurately. It is the only unique identifier for the baby. All blood spot screening cards with a missing, inaccurate or illegible NHS number will not be processed and will need to be repeated. Specimen numbers are applied to every blood spot card received in the laboratory. The specimen number is unique to that card and allows the results to be transferred to the laboratory IT system. The front and back of the card is checked to assess the quality of the blood spot sample. Multiple punches are taken from each sample received. A blood detector helps with assessing the volume of blood on each card. When all the punches required for screening can be taken from one good quality blood spot, the other blood spots can then be used for further punching to confirm the result if a condition is suspected. If this was not possible, a repeat sample would be required, which would delay referral of the baby into clinical care. The laboratory makes requests for repeat samples by email. Following punching, the samples are prepared for analysis. Newborn blood spot screening samples are tested in batches. Each plate can accommodate 96 samples and goes through a series of stages. Samples are run overnight and results are reviewed the following morning. Results are transferred to the laboratory IT system and are then authorised. In the event of a suspected result for any of the conditions screened for, the baby is referred to a specialist clinical team who contact the family and will arrange diagnostic testing. It is essential that a current parent contact number is written legibly on the blood spot card to ensure the family is contacted by the specialist clinician in a timely manner. A general practitioner telephone number is also required and will be used if babies are referred to specialist clinicians. After laboratory authorization, newborn blood spot screening results are downloaded onto the newborn blood spot screening Wales system. This system has a failsafe function which identifies eligible babies in Wales who do not have a newborn blood spot screening sample in the laboratory by day 14 of life. The failsafe will also identify babies for whom repeat samples have been requested but have not been received by the laboratory in a specified time. There are three regional newborn screening administration failsafe teams who manage the failsafe. They are based in the South East Wales, Mid and West Wales and North Wales regions and cover all the health boards in Wales. These failsafe teams work separately from the Wales Newborn Screening Laboratory. The Newborn Screening Administration failsafe teams can also be contacted by sample takers to find out the NHS number for a baby if there is difficulty obtaining it prior to sample collection.